Hello everybody. Let's have a look at protecting VLANs from passing the traffic between different subnets on local networks. So uh, in previous video we uh, set up uh, two VLANs and uh, we just want to protect them from passing the traffic. Uh, right now you can uh, ping and communicate with any other devices on different VLANs and today we're just gonna uh, lock each VLAN from passing the traffic so let's click on the uh, router and uh, let's have a look at the DHCP service so I have VLAN 1 uh, then we have uh, another VLAN uh, with 200.0 uh, subnet and 22.0 subnet so the first one is 88. So we won't protect the traffic from 288 and 22 so they don't travel between each other. Um, in this example, I have uh, my computer connected to 10.122 subnet. So uh, as you can see, I'm being provided uh, with the IP dash dot 33 and I have another device running SFTP server um, as well as it's available to be ping and we'll see if we can ping it so it's on 88 subnet so it, we're gonna ping 192.168.88 and and device IP is 125. All right, so as you can see, the traffic is coming through. So I can ping and access this device even though I'm on a different subnet. All right, let's uh, move on to see how we can do this. There are two simple ways of doing it. And uh, there is also an article on Ubiquiti website about the firewall rules. And as you can see, uh, terms forward it's the uh, traffic that is routed through the firewall not destined to the firewall client to client routed traffic that's what we will be working on today um, I provide this uh, URL in uh, description so you guys can have a look at it and read some more details on that all right so uh, let's see what we can see Okay, we're gonna click on, uh, I believe it's uh, in settings. We're gonna scroll down to firewall. Okay, so when we click the firewall rules, this is the forward rules. These are the, um, uh, the firewall rules for uh, local lands between the lands so this is the area where we're going to be working on. This is not for the incoming traffic from the internet. Um, so one way we can do it, uh, we can create groups. So we can name this um, subnet, uh, let's say 88, which is the primary subnet. Uh, we're going to leave this address. Okay, so we're going to call this default default subnet okay we're gonna type in the uh, subnet address and we're gonna do slash 24 we're gonna block entire subnet and we're gonna click add then we have another subnet um, we're gonna call this subnet you can call it anything you want I'm just gonna call this 200 uh, and that was IOT things IOT network and the 192 168 dot 200 dot 24 we're gonna add that and we have one more VLAN uh, subnet for the uh, security cameras uh, we're gonna call this subnet 22 I believe it was 
Uh, we're gonna leave this so security. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call this subnet so I know. Um, all right, it was ten one hundred twenty two slash twenty four. I hit add. All right, so now we created groups for each subnet. Um, if you want, you could create a group, one group, and put all the subnets. Uh, all you have to do is just um, click the plus sign and include additional subnets. I like to break it down um, because I might want to have um, uh, one subnet open uh, so I can, um, you know, do my internal testing so in that case uh we created groups now we're gonna go to firewall rules we're gonna click the plus sign over here to add forward rule and uh we're gonna call this we're gonna leave it as forward and we're gonna call this subnet uh subnet i'm gonna call this drop subnet and we're gonna call this um, 88 because um, the other computer is on the subnet 88. So we'll do this first so you can see how that works. Okay, so over here we have to choose the group that we created. So we're gonna choose subnet 88 type address, no exclamation mark, uh, just the plain subnet, okay? You click this and make sure that you choose action to drop. We're gonna hit add. Now, before I move on, this is one way of doing things. You can just click the group. If you don't wanna do that, you can also, if you don't have any groups, you can just type in over here, 192.168.88.0.0. You can uh, put the subnet in here and that's going to work the same. You have to make sure it's drop and then you hit add. Since I have a groups created, we're going to go and select the group and we're going to hit add. Now this uh, subnet rule, uh, the black rule, drop rule uh, is put on the bottom over here and that's fine. We're going to go and, and try to ping the server again and uh let's see all right so it's timing out we get no connection so as you can see this is how you protect the internal uh network uh, we want to stop it uh internal networks from accessing each other uh so again we have to do this uh for each of them so drop subnet 200 we're gonna choose a drop over here and we're gonna go for 200 we're gonna scroll down and hit add if you want to enable logging and see the logs you can do that as well so we created as you can see when i was pinging i created some traffic so it shows you that uh you know the rules is working uh we got some packets and bytes over here it shows you how much traffic was dropped okay um and then it's one more rule and that's gonna be the security camera rule right so we're gonna drop and that was subnet 22 um abbreviating a subnet uh, you can put the whole number you can put whatever the name you want over here doesn't really matter um and uh 22 Okay, and we're gonna do the um, drop on that. And we're gonna hit add. All right, so now we have all the uh, traffic, uh, all the subnets protected and they cannot access each other at that point. Um, and as you can see, we can ping Google. So that means we still have the internet access. We're not blocking. All right. Uh, I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for watching.